Hey guys, what's going on, man? Uh, it's been a minute since I posted a video, and I understand that. Uh, just know that I'm waiting on funds, obviously. I went and got a little, a little part-time job to help with some money, help with pay some stuff. So, yeah. If y'all been waiting for another video, well, here you go. Here's a new one. Um, a little update. We still have the FRS. Still have it. I'm still building it. Uh, we're just doing some maintenance on it today. I've got to run to the parts store real quick uh, and see if they have some transmission fluid. Hopefully they do. Uh, and then we may get some spark plugs while we're there. I think that's about it. Yeah. So transmission fluid, spark plugs, go to the go to the store. So. Uh, let me get that underway all right gotta lock up the house and then today what we're going to be doing in the video is uh an oil change you know how to do an oil change if you don't know how to do an oil change then here you go here's your video um i went to toyota and got the filter the oil filter and then i went to walmart and i was trying to buy some castrol oil but they were out of O20 Castrol. Uh, that's just the brand I've always used. I've never had any issues out of it, but I had to get pins oil this time. Um, and the car calls for 5.7 quarts of oil. Look at this, oh, look at that. You will see that? Right over here, look at all that, man. This car is dusted. Jeez, this car is dusted. You know what? Oh, the car is still in limp mode, by the way. Uh, we have... Oh, they're hidden. We have uh, Medusa here to fix that. Wheel speed sensors. Uh, it's not doing it right now. I guess because it's warm enough outside that it's not going to be cold. So, yeah. Um, I think... The throw up bearing was bad. Wow, what is all these angles? Guys, talk to me. Um, I think the throw up bearing's going bad or something. It's getting squealy. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Um, I'm going to fix it. It'll be in a couple videos. I'm going to try and get a couple videos so I can upload like maybe one a month or something uh, for a couple months. That's why I'm doing oil change today. And then we've got some other scheduled videos. Or they're, they're scheduled <laughs> videos. If it's nice out, we'll do them. Um, the car isn't, hasn't been tracking mileage properly because of the, uh, the wheel speed sensors being messed up. I don't know if that's a common thing. I don't know if that's normal for when they're messed up that it doesn't track mileage properly but I went out of town and it was like 77 miles one way and it only clocked 88 miles there and back so I don't I don't completely understand what's going on with that maybe we'll get this all you know buttoned up and fixed up and stuff but the reason why we're doing oil change today I'm talking a lot here but the reason why we're doing an oil change today is because I want to do some maintenance. Uh, I need to change the oil. I haven't done it since I got the car. And change the filter before I go out this weekend driving it and stuff. So I'm going to get it warmed up and then we're going to come home, change the oil, and maybe do a little bit more talking, all right? So uh, just bear with me. And so what we're looking for is. 75 W90. I think it's GL4, but I'm not seeing anything. There's a Lucas, so. Though. Well, uh, hope they got some more. I guess we're gonna have to go with this Lucas. I wanted Molto, but I guess we're gonna have to go with Lucas because that's the only thing everybody has. I need 2.3 quarts of the Lucas. I don't want none of that Master Pro. I don't want Royal Purple. I ain't touching that Royal Purple stuff for nothing anymore. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to ask them if they got any in the back and then see about some uh, spark plugs. All right. So I got a, uh, an issue. Spark plugs are, sorry about that. Spark plugs are $43 a piece at my local O'Reilly's. I'm gonna go try down the road for just a second at Advanced and see if they have the spark plugs I, I need. They only had the racing spark plugs available, which, guys, if you've ever driven a two liter FRS, it's not a race car. <laughs> It's not a race car. All right. Um, All right. So we got the gear oil. We got Lucas. Yeah. 75W90 Lucas oil product. Um, not exactly what I wanted. I wanted the. Sorry about that. One of the uh, the Multol or whatever, however you pronounce it. That's what I wanted. But uh, let's get the car jacked up. And let's get uh, let's get this oil change done. So it is a drain plug, oil filter, and then the uh, some people don't do it, but the um, the little washer that goes on the drain plug. You can replace those. If they're a Toyota, they're gonna do it. Uh, any other Express Lube place, any other dealership should do it. Um, little copper washer or little uh, like paper zinc washer or something like that um, Yeah But when I got the uh, when I got the oil filter, let me show you guys. It's just an oil filter with the Toyota all over it. I got the uh, Yeah, see here Maybe I don't know here. I'll give you guys the part number For the oil filter if you if you're still running the the 2.0, what is it? The FA20. Yeah. Let me show you. Uh, you get this oil filter, right? And it's covered. It's got a little uh, cellophane plastic thing on it. But then here's the uh, the little washer thing that I'm talking about. All right. It's got a little bit of metal and then paper or whatever on both sides of it. Just put that on your drain plug. All right, enough talking. Let me uh, let's get this jar this jar cacked up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get the car jacked up and then. Uh... Okay. This is a pain in the butt. I'm just glad I ain't taking the wheels off today. Today. <laughs> Jack stands at. So we're gonna try and come in from the, this side and then leave the jack there. Uh, 
so yeah there ain't nothing left to do it but to do it uh well i could show you the, show you guys this right yeah let me show you real quick uh oil filter right on top boom where you feel it from right here boom and it tells you on the lid ow20 I know it says see owner's manual see owner's manual but if I can remember I'll uh, I'll leave a link to what I'm going by as far as maintenance um, it's like the Toyota list of what they do at the mileage they do it at or roundabouts the mileage that they do it at but yeah we can go ahead and pop that filter off real quick okay there so let's see we should be able to just now, it ain't gonna be overly tight you see this one's already coming off i ain't put much into that we're you know we're just goofing around right now kind of doing an oil change all right so let's look at this hold on let's get you a better better lighting you see how this one's got like grease on the oil on the o-ring there now what i've liked to do what I like to do and what I've been taught is to take this new O-ring uh, and the old O-ring with the oil on it and kind of just get oil all over it or take your finger and wipe off the old and then wipe it on the new so it seats. But this one's got that grease on it so we don't have to do that. I guess that's why this thing was like eight and a half. Eight and a half dollars, seven and a half, eight and a half dollars. Oh, uh, we didn't come back with spark plugs because both parts stores ridiculously overpriced. Let me let me just rant about the spark plugs real quick. Spark plugs. One store wanted forty three dollars a piece for spark plugs, and then the other store wanted thirty dollars a piece for spark plugs. You see where I'm going? You see where I'm going? They want too much. It's way too much. Um, way too much. If you can afford to wait, do it. Order it offline. Get it one to two days shipped to your house for a fraction of what the parts store, the local parts store is costing you. I'm sorry if you're a local parts store owner. I apologize, but those prices are too expensive and I'm not about to pay them and I don't know any of my subscribers that would pay them they'd probably buy their stuff offline and that's what I'm gonna have to do All right, let's get to the oil change it's taking me 45 minutes to do a dead gum oil change <laughs> all right here let me get y'all set back up oil filter acquired if Toyota had anything to say about it it's a 14 Okay, I hope it's a 14 because I feel I don't feel like getting back up But we'll see Got that nice uh, a nice snap on Ratchet and wrench That's right uh, Please be a 14 Well Toyota said something about it. Wait, it is not a 14 Excuse me this thing thing's a 13. Uh, excuse me. Wait a minute. Hold on now. We got the spark plug special or something? What are we doing here? I didn't grab my... I didn't grab my thing. What? Hold on a second now. Whatever blocks it off, block it off. Hold on a second. Did they put something... Hold on, man. Why is this 14 working, but that 14 ain't working? Or do I just think it's working? No. It's moving it. But that other one ain't catching. Really weird. Please tell me I put it in my pocket. Yeah, put it in my pocket. 
All right, got my O-ring. That's right. I'm gonna set it right there on the drain bucket. Yep. You know, we just having fun. This ain't fun. I can't reach it. Well, I wish I'd have known it was gonna be a 13. I wouldn't have grabbed my 14 wrench to do this. I mean, it's moving on 14, like, regular 14 side, but it ain't moving on the ratchet side for some reason. It's just slipping right over. Really? Huh. No. It's just that side. I guess that side's wore out a little bit. I only do six-sided sockets anyway. That's the reason why, guys. It ain't catching on this multi-24 whatever tooth this thing is. Give me a minute. Good old ratchet and reach. That's right. That's 14. Six-sided. Six-sided socket. Yeah, that's right. Okay, this is the way we're gonna do it from now on. You live and you learn. You know what I've learned, guys? I need to lose some daggum weight. Anybody else raise your hand? Put a comment down below. This thing is gonna go haywire, let me tell you. May have to lower the jack a little bit. Three, two, oh, it's already dripping. One, and no, no, you can't, hey, don't do that. No, dang it. <laughs> Every dead gum time. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. Because this driveway sucks to lay on. I, I can appreciate the driveway, but it's like laying on... 80 grit or 60 grit sandpaper naked and you got clothes on it ain't fun yeah that's a big old oil spill my gosh why didn't y'all let me know that gummit sign ah well whatever i'll get it cleaned up this ain't the original that gummy thing that come on it they just put something on there and Turned it down. Let me show you guys. This ain't the original drain plug for this car. It just ain't. I'm trying to tell you. Look at this dang thing. This ain't the original drain plug. But also, they, uh, just put their thing, their washer on there, whether it fit or not, and just ran it on there. Oh well. Let's clean up this oil spill. Need to call uh, BP or something. Hey, we got another one for you. What the heck? What in the Sam Hill did they do? That wasn't the right one. Find another one, buddy. That ain't it. Alright. Take our washer. Oh, guess what? Our, our thing ain't gonna fit. That ain't the right drain plug. That's just something they found to fit. Or drilled it out and tapped a way bigger thread. That looks like a daggum spark plug something. It's like that big compared to a train plug. Wow, that's crazy. Well, 
I guess we're gonna have to reuse this and then I really didn't want to I didn't want to but ours don't work we gotta get this oil cleaned up too I may have to let it down on chocolate tires and then just go with it roll it let it roll back because it's it's going down the driveway pretty good I need to be able to clean this thing up. Okay. Yeah, I hope they didn't mess this thing up and just said, yeah, that's good. Ah, they probably did. It's an old express lube thing. Of course they did. Yeah, it's done. We, uh, we found something that'll work. Found something that'll fit. That's what we'll do. Wow. Oily fingers, man. You can't get in the grip. Don't have to get them too tight, just snug. Obviously, it's just a drain plug. It just holds all your oil. Alright, that's good. Pour it. Well, too bad. I spilt it. Spilt it everywhere. Look at that wind blowing it. That's crazy. It's crazy, man. Wow. Come on, drain out. Let's go. This is supposed to be engine oil. This is really thin. Like, that's a thick stream getting blown by some light wind. That's crazy, man. It's supposed to take 5.7 quarts. Guess what? I have five quarts of full synthetic and then I got a synthetic blend in the house. So we're gonna not mix the synthetic blend in and just go full synthetic. By the way, I don't like full synthetic. I'm a conventional kind of person. But if that's what this calls for, then that's what we'll use. So, yeah. Maybe I just haven't done this stuff in a while and I'm shaky. Let me just wipe this oil filter off real quick. See if I can do any kind of good. I mean, at least it'll give it a llama snot spit shine, that's for sure. So, that was kind of a disaster of a video right uh, if you watched it thank you for watching it if you didn't then but uh yeah if you watched it and have fun watching it make sure to leave a like comment if you want to subscribe if you're new i don't post a lot to this channel um hopefully we can start posting a little bit more and hopefully we can get rid of that mockingbird because he's been here the entire video nature just making it peaceful <laughs> but uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do the rest of the stuff which is go get another quart of oil and pour more than half of it in there and then uh clean up the driveway from the oil spill we need to call bp i uh spilt some oil hey it'll be all right i need to quit let it sitting on the driveway that's for sure all right i'll get off here hey i'll talk to y'all later uh bye sound like i'm getting off the phone with my dad